Twitter integrated on the iOS 5 makes it much easier and more convenient to use. Basically by scrolling down in settings you're able to find an icon called Twitter. So by clicking on that you can download the Twitter application, sign in to more than one account and yes it will keep you logged in through Twitter so you don't have to log in every individual time. And you also can update your contacts allowing you to find your friends more easily on Twitter. Let's just go ahead and enter Safari and show you how Twitter sharing is done. It's really easy and convenient. Let's say I want to tweet this article from Mac Rumors. So if I clicking share, it'll take a while to load up here. When the tweet button does show up, you have the options. You can go ahead and click tweet and then in the menu will show up for tweeting it out. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit slow because it is still in beta. Um, so let's just go ahead and type in what we want it to say along with the tweet. And there has a paperclip with the Mac Rumors page on it. So let's just go ahead and click send and that is as easy as that. Let's just go ahead and go into YouTube next. YouTube integrated with Twitter is something really cool that I found because oftentimes I find myself wanting to share tweets, um, videos with tweets basically, like a Ray William Johnson video. I really like his videos. Uh, so simply by viewing the video here, you can click the share button. And by clicking the share button, the tweet button shows up now. And it'll actually take a while to load up the tweet button. Unfortunately, like I said, we're still in iOS 5 beta. Uh, just simply by clicking on it, the menu will show up. It'll have the tag in the right hand corner with the paperclip. Go ahead and type in your message, Ray William Johnson, and as usual, hit send. That is how easy it is to use Twitter on your iOS 5 device. Let's just go ahead and go into camera. Yes, it is now integrated with camera. So if you find something really cool that you want to take a picture of, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture really quickly here. Simply snap your picture, and you can go into the view your pictures. By viewing your pictures, you can pick the picture that you want. Go ahead and click the share button, and now there is a tweet button to go along with that. Now go ahead and open it up here, and your picture will show up underneath that paperclip. Type in whatever you want and click send. Next thing I want to talk about is maps. Maps is actually pretty cool too. Let's say you find something cool, or you're somewhere, or somebody wants directions to something, like Apple headquarters. So then by clicking the Apple headquarters logo here, it'll enter the information there. You can go ahead and click share location. And now there is a tweet button in which you can share that location through your Twitter. Here you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and go back and type in Apple HQ. It also has an add location setting. So if you want somebody to know exactly where you are compared to this location, you can actually click add location and it'll add those locations onto your tweets, which is pretty cool. Yes, you do still have the character limit and so on as Twitter would usually be, and it does interact through your application, so you still would want to have the Twitter application on there because there's no way to view the tweets. I tried to do handstands for